On July 9th, the internet awoke to the sad news that Glee star Naya Rivera had gone missing at Lake Piru in Southern California the previous day, and that the search and rescue mission had turned into one of recovery instead. Deputy Chris Dyer of the Ventura County Sheriff's Office said at a press conference that Rivera was presumed drowned. Rivera's four-year-old son, Josie Hollis Dorsey, was thankfully found uninjured on the boat. But sadly, Deputy Dyer was correct, and Naya Rivera's body was found four days later on July 13th. The boy told investigators that he and his mother had been swimming, but she did not get back on the rented pontoon. Minutes after news of her initial disappearance was released, Naya Rivera became a trending topic. And as fans grappled with the sadness, the tragic news of her passing also brought about a renewed interest in the former Glee star. Chief among that, Rivera's one-time romance with actor and stand-up David Spade. Although Rivera's relationships with rapper Big Sean and ex-husband Ryan Dorsey are likely the most well-known of her past romances, she does have a connection with the comedian. For a little while there, Rivera and Spade were a thing, or at least it sure looked like it. It all started in March 2017 with some photos of the unlikely duo embracing in a pool in Hawaii. As E! News reported at the time, fans were completely shocked by the revelation, in part due to the pair's 22-year age gap, even though there wasn't much PDA involved in the pics and neither party actually confirmed anything was going on. In fact, Spade went so far as to dismiss claims he was seeing the stunning young star when confronted by TMZ, telling the tabloid, quote, "...don't believe everything you see in the pool." And Rivera took to Instagram to very briefly address the subject in a roundabout way, joking that she saw reports that the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy were dating too. As the initial report from E! News breathlessly described, paparazzi shots showed Rivera and Spade getting close in the pool at a hotel in Waikiki. They were spotted embracing and laughing together, with the publication claiming at the time that the two had been seeing each other for at least a few weeks. An eyewitness also told Entertainment Tonight, the pair went for a short swim, hugged, and had lots of body contact in the pool. They kept to one side of the pool where there was the most covering from prying eyes. Outside of the pool, they sat on lounge chairs and talked animatedly. They spent about an hour poolside together. They were very happy. They looked pretty comfortable together. Rivera's friends joined her on the trip, and Spade's comedian buddies Adam Sandler and Rob Schneider were also in Hawaii to perform as part of Sandler's Here Comes the Funny Tour. Although a source assured people the two were just good friends, it wasn't long before E! News got a scoop that suggested otherwise. The two were spotted together at celebrity hotspot Nobu in Malibu. The pair was reportedly driven to the famous sushi restaurant in a black SUV and left together, quote, in great spirits, according to E! News. An insider claimed to the outlet at the time, David really likes Naya. They are still trying to keep things private, but they have hung out a couple of times since Hawaii. Although it seems like an odd match, Spade and Rivera actually knew each other before their pool moment in Hawaii. She guest starred on his sitcom Eight Simple Rules back in 2004, and they also appeared in Crackle's Mad Families Together, which premiered a few months before they were spotted taking a dip. But after just a few months of supposedly dating, Us Weekly confirmed they were through, if they were ever really together in the first place. An eyewitness told the publication in June 2017 that Spade was out on the town with a group of women and with Rivera nowhere in sight. And the Daily Mail in August 2017 snapped pics of Spade kissing an unknown woman in Los Angeles. Rivera and Spade also unfollowed each other on Instagram around that same time, a likely sign that they had both indeed moved on.